Saudi Arabia is unique among modern countries because it has turned its once empty desert into a successful source of money. The most amazing part of this change is in its farming, which has done better than anywhere else in the world. So, how did Saudi Arabia manage this incredible achievement and who or what is responsible for this mysterious transformation? In this video, we'll reveal the secret that not many people are talking about when it comes to Saudi Arabia's desert. Just a hundred years ago, Saudi Arabia had a lot of problems with farming. The weather was really harsh, with extremely hot temperatures and very little rain, making it tough to grow crops in the dry land of the desert. There were three big issues. Not enough water, a lot of people going hungry, and not having much land for farming. But everything changed in 1938 when they found oil. This discovery sparked a plan to completely transform how they did farming. They used the newfound wealth from oil to revolutionize how they grew food, overcoming the challenges of the tough environment. This shift marked a big change in Saudi Arabia's development as they used the abundant oil resources to tackle the problems caused by nature and ensure a sustainable future for their agricultural efforts. This secret plan resulted in the most transformative project the world has ever seen. Experts believe that the secret behind the shocking transformation of its desert goes beyond modern irrigation practices. But before we reveal Saudi Arabia's best-kept secret, let us first introduce you to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, previously identified as the State of Saudi Arabia, stands as a significant country in Western Asia, securing its position as the second largest Arab nation in the region. The nation's historical tapestry is intricately woven throughout the expansive landscapes of the northern and central regions of the Arab Peninsula. Covering a vast land area of 829,999 square miles, Saudi Arabia exudes geographic prominence, contributing to its pivotal role in the regional dynamics of Western Asia. The kingdom's extensive coastline, spanning 1,640.4 square miles, further adds to its geographical significance, positioning it as a key player with access to maritime resources and trade routes. As a nation with a rich historical background, Saudi Arabia's heritage is deeply rooted in the cultural and historical narratives that have unfolded across the Arab Peninsula. This historical continuum shapes the country's identity, influencing its role on the global stage and underlining its importance in the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. The nation, spanning an expansive territory, encompasses roughly four-fifths of the Arabian Peninsula. Its geographical reach extends across borders, sharing its northern frontiers with Jordan, Iraq and Kuwait. To the east, it forms a boundary with Qatar along the shores of the Persian Gulf. The kingdom shares borders with the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Yemen, the Red Sea, and the Gulf of Aqaba, respectively. Ranked among the largest land areas in Asia, Saudi Arabia also claims the 13th spot in the global hierarchy. To provide a tangible perspective, the land area of the kingdom surpasses that of Texas approximately 309 times over, emphasizing its vast expanse and substantial geographical footprint. Despite its considerable size, Saudi Arabia stands out for the absence of a permanent river within its borders. Rainfall, too, has historically been scarce in the region. The country has experienced minimal annual precipitation, with the average barely surpassing 150 millimeters. The arid conditions extend over extensive expanses, limiting agricultural cultivation to only a small portion of the southwest region. The persistent scarcity of rainfall and arid environments has presented significant challenges in supporting the population and ensuring food security. As recently as the 1960s, estimates indicated that Saudi Arabia possessed only a meager 400 square kilometers of arable land, representing a mere 0.5% of the nation's total land area. These limitations underscored the critical need for innovative solutions to address the agricultural constraints imposed by the arid nature of much of Saudi Arabia's terrain. Given the challenging conditions, one might ponder how the people of Saudi Arabia managed to sustain themselves through agriculture. Back then, the answer lay in turning to small-scale farming, 
where local crops were grown in specific areas to meet the basic agricultural requirements of the population. This approach, however, had its limitations. Any essential food items that couldn't be grown locally had to be brought in from elsewhere, requiring a reliance on imports to fill the nutritional gaps. The cultivation of crops was mainly confined to narrow strips along the coastline. The primary crops cultivated under these circumstances were dates and vegetables. This agricultural scenario reflected a localized and somewhat precarious food production system. The reliance on small-scale farming and the narrow coastal cultivation areas emphasized the need for a more sustainable and resilient approach to address the food security challenges posed by the arid conditions of Saudi Arabia. Overcoming these limitations would necessitate innovative solutions and a transformative shift in agricultural practices. Saudi Arabia possesses abundant natural resources with a primary focus on energy reserves. The country's most noteworthy and pivotal natural resource is oil, showcasing the world's largest proven reserves, amounting to approximately 16% of the global total. This substantial oil wealth has catapulted Saudi Arabia into a prominent position as a major player in the global oil industry, supported by significant exports. The vast reserves of oil have not only contributed to the country's economic prosperity, but have also positioned Saudi Arabia as a key influencer in the global energy landscape. The strategic importance of its oil reserves extends beyond domestic consumption, playing a critical role in shaping international economic and geopolitical dynamics. The vast oil fields of Gawar, Safania are key players in the global energy market, contributing significantly to Saudi Arabia's position as one of the leading oil producers worldwide. Beyond its abundant oil resources, Saudi Arabia boasts an impressive reserve of natural gas, securing its place as the sixth largest natural gas holder globally, with an estimated 240 trillion cubic feet. The nation's natural gas production is closely tied to its oil operations, with most reserves associated with oil fields. Saudi Arabia has strategically developed non-associated gas fields such as Hasbar and Arabia, showcasing its commitment to diversifying its energy portfolio. This comprehensive energy profile underscores Saudi Arabia's crucial role in shaping the dynamics of the global oil and gas markets, positioning it as a key player in meeting the world's energy demands. Saudi Arabia is not a major exporter on the global stage. The heavy reliance on natural gas for domestic energy needs has resulted in limited quantities available for export. In 2008, the country produced approximately 2,472 cubic feet of natural gas, reflecting its commitment to fulfilling internal energy demands. This emphasis on domestic consumption persisted, and by 2017, the natural gas production had increased significantly to 31.7 cubic feet, further underlining Saudi Arabia's dedication to securing its energy requirements for its growing population and industrial development. In addition to its formidable energy reserves, Saudi Arabia boasts a wealth of mineral resources. The country is rich in a variety of minerals, including gold, copper, zinc, phosphate, bauxite, and uranium, contributing to its status as a significant player in the global mining industry. Gold deposits, particularly prominent in the Mad Adiyech Dahab region, underscore Saudi Arabia's significance in the international gold market. The Mad Adiyech Dahab region has been historically recognized for its substantial gold reserves, adding to the country's mineral wealth. Phosphate, a crucial component for fertilizer production, is another key mineral resource in Saudi Arabia. The Jalamid phosphate mine is a noteworthy asset, estimated to hold an impressive 11.6 million tons of phosphate. This substantial reserve further solidifies Saudi Arabia's role in global agricultural and fertilizer industries. Furthermore, the country's bauxite reserves, totaling about 4.4 million tons, contribute to its position in the aluminum market. Bauxite is a primary source of aluminum, and Saudi Arabia's reserves play a vital role in supporting the production of this essential industrial material. Saudi Arabia's rich gold resources extend to over 600 identified deposit sites, highlighting the country's potential as a major player in the global gold industry. However, despite the vast number of deposits, 
only a handful are currently operational. Notable among these are the Sukaybarat al-Hajar and al-Amar mines, which contribute to Saudi Arabia's gold production and its standing in the international gold market. In addition to its gold wealth, Saudi Arabia is endowed with substantial limestone and marble deposits, both of which play pivotal roles in the construction sector. Limestone, widely used in building and infrastructure projects, is a key component in the country's construction industry. In 2018, Saudi Arabia's annual limestone production reached an impressive volume of approximately 114,000 metric tons, underscoring the significance of this mineral in meeting construction demands. Marble, prized for its aesthetic appeal and durability, is another crucial resource for construction and decorative applications. Saudi Arabia's annual production volume of marble blocks in 2018 amounted to around 120,000 metric tons, emphasizing the country's capacity to contribute substantially to the global marble market. The utilization of these abundant resources not only supports Saudi Arabia's domestic construction needs, but also positions the country as a significant supplier of key construction materials in the international market. Saudi Arabia's natural resource wealth extends to high-quality silica sand deposits, a valuable commodity with applications in diverse industries such as glass manufacturing, foundries and construction. The country's abundant and high-grade silica sand contributes significantly to its industrial capabilities and global market presence. In terms of overall natural resources, Saudi Arabia holds a prominent position on the global stage, ranking third in abundance. The estimated total value of its natural resources is an impressive 34.4 trillion. While Saudi Arabia stands out as a powerhouse in terms of natural resources, it falls behind Russia and the United States in the global rankings. Russia takes the top spot with natural resources worth 75.7 trillion, and the United States follows closely with resources valued at 45.5 trillion. Nevertheless, Saudi Arabia's position as the third largest holder of natural resources, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is not only distinguished by its abundant natural resources, but also celebrated for its rich archaeological sites that provide captivating insights into its historical and cultural heritage. Among these sites, Al Ula, situated in the northwest region, stands out with its remarkable Nabataean archaeological site, known as Madain Saleh. Madain Saleh is often referred to as the Saudi Arabian Petra and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The site features well-preserved rock-cut tombs, elaborate facades and ancient inscriptions, showcasing the Nabataean civilization's architectural and artistic achievements. Madain Saleh is a testament to the historical significance of the Arabian Peninsula as a crossroads of ancient civilizations. Another significant archaeological site is al hijr located near Riyadh. al hijr holds great historical importance as the original home of the Saudi royal family and served as the capital of the first Saudi state. The site is also known as Madain Salih and features mud-brick structures, palaces and defensive walls that provide a glimpse into the early political and architectural developments of the region. Indeed, the archaeological wealth of Saudi Arabia extends further, with numerous sites offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of ancient civilizations that once flourished in the region. Al Juf, located in the north of the country, is home to a treasure trove of ruins from the Nabataean and Lihianite civilizations. This archaeological site encompasses temples, tombs and a fortress, providing valuable insights into the architectural and cultural practices of these ancient societies. In Hail, the sites of Juba and Shuwaymis are renowned for their ancient rock art. The petroglyphs found here depict hunting scenes, daily life and the cultural practices of the people who inhabited the region in ancient times. These rock art panels are a testament to the artistic expression and storytelling traditions of prehistoric communities. Najran, in the southern part of Saudi Arabia, is home to the archaeological site of Qariyat al Fao. This site boasts a fortified wall, houses, mosques, and a cemetery reflecting the urban planning and architectural achievements of the ancient civilizations that once thrived in the area. The diverse structures within Qariyat al Fao provide valuable insights into the social, 
religious and economic aspects of these ancient communities. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is not only renowned for its archaeological treasures, but also holds immense significance in the Islamic world. Serving as the birthplace of Islam, it is home to two of the holiest cities, Mecca and Medina. The influence of Islamic culture permeates various aspects of Saudi society, shaping its traditions, values and daily practices. Saudi Arabia adheres to a conservative interpretation of Islam, and this adherence is deeply embedded in the fabric of daily life. Religious observance is a cornerstone, with the five pillars of Islam forming the foundation of faith. These pillars include the declaration of faith, prayer, salah, fasting during the holy month of Ramadan, saum, giving to charity, zakat, and the pilgrimage to Mecca, hajj. The commitment to these pillars is not only a religious obligation, but a reflection of the profound role Islam plays in shaping the moral and ethical compass of the society. Islamic education is a fundamental aspect of life in Saudi Arabia, with a focus on studying the Quran and Islamic principles. Islamic schools and universities are instrumental in providing religious education, ensuring that individuals have a strong foundation in the teachings of the religion. This commitment to education serves to preserve and propagate Islamic knowledge and values through generations. The centrality of Islam in Saudi Arabian culture is also evident in the architectural landscape, with mosques being prominent features in cities and towns. The call to prayer, Adhan, resonates throughout the day, underscoring the rhythm of daily life and reinforcing the significance of religious practices. Islamic values also influence cultural practices. Traditional dress, such as the thobe for men and the abaya for women, reflects modesty and adherence to Islamic guidelines. Halal food is the norm, and social customs emphasize respect, hospitality, and communal unity. Saudi Arabia's desert landscapes are indeed awe-inspiring, characterized by their vastness, aridity, and unique beauty. While the country is often associated with scorching heat and expansive deserts, these environments hold cultural, ecological, and historical significance. One of the most remarkable deserts in Saudi Arabia is the Rub al Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter. This immense sand desert is the largest continuous sand desert in the world, spanning approximately 650,000 square kilometers. The landscape of the Rub al Khali is dominated by towering sand dunes that stretch for miles, creating a mesmerizing and otherworldly panorama. The shifting sands and the stark beauty of this desert have captured the imagination of explorers and visitors throughout history. Beyond its visual appeal, the deserts of Saudi Arabia have cultural significance as they are deeply woven into the fabric of the country's heritage. Bedouin communities, traditionally nomadic, have adapted to the challenges of desert life for centuries, relying on their deep knowledge of the terrain and its resources. Ecologically, these deserts are also home to unica flora and fauna that have adapted to the harsh conditions. The diverse ecosystems include hardy plant species, insects, reptiles, and occasional migratory birds, showcasing the resilience of life in extreme environments. Moving towards central Saudi Arabia, Adana unfolds as a vast desert stretching from the northwest to the southeast. Its undulating sand and gravel plains, occasionally adorned with vegetation and rocky outcrops, contribute to its rugged and captivating beauty. Adana's challenging terrain makes it a popular destination for adventure and off-road enthusiasts seeking to explore its vast expanse. In the eastern part of Saudi Arabia, Al-Aqsa emerges as one of the largest deserts in the Arabian Peninsula, covering an area of approximately 100,000 square kilometers. Al-Aqsa presents a diverse topography, featuring dunes, rocky areas, and expansive plains, adding to the varied desert landscapes found within the country. Al Jafura within Al Asa holds historical significance as a former trade route and is home to ancient archaeological sites, underscoring the long standing human connection to these deserts. The remnants of these historical routes and structures provide a glimpse into the cultural and commercial activities that once thrived in these arid lands. While these deserts may seem barren at first glance, they support a surprising array of life. 
Various plant species, including the resilient desert hyacinth, desert date palms and acacia trees, have adapted to survive in the harsh arid conditions. The wildlife in these regions is equally diverse, with Arabian oryx, sand gazelles, desert foxes and reptiles such as the sand viper and horned viper thriving in this seemingly inhospitable environment. While these lands are not completely devoid of vegetation, they are not well suited for crop cultivation. This scarcity of arable land highlighted the country's heavy dependence on food imports to meet the dietary needs of its people. The story of Saudi Arabia's transformation from desert lands to a thriving hub of profitable agriculture and eventually a global oil powerhouse is intertwined with a fascinating turn of events in the early 20th century. In March 1934, Saudi Arabia embarked on the ambitious plan to construct a dam with a depth of 1,440 millimeters. The intention was to harness water resources for agricultural purposes, as water is a precious commodity in arid regions. The effort was part of a broader initiative to develop sustainable agriculture and diversify the economy beyond traditional practices. However, during the construction of the dam, a remarkable and unexpected discovery altered the trajectory of the nation's economic future. The reservoir associated with the dam revealed an abundance of oil resources. In this unexpected twist of fate, Saudi Arabia realized that it possessed one of the world's largest oil reserves. This discovery marked the beginning of Saudi Arabia's journey as a major player in the global oil industry. The newfound oil wealth became the kingdom's primary source of revenue and a catalyst for rapid economic development. With the establishment of the Arabian American Oil Company, Aramco, in the 1930s, the nation began to exploit its oil resources, attracting significant foreign investment and expertise. Over the decades, Saudi Arabia strategically developed its oil industry, investing in infrastructure, technology and international partnerships. The revenue generated from oil exports enabled the kingdom to modernize its infrastructure. The transformation was profound, turning Saudi Arabia from a predominantly desert landscape into a modern and prosperous nation. The discovery of oil not only reshaped the economic landscape of Saudi Arabia, but also had profound geopolitical implications. The nation became a key player in global energy markets, influencing international relations and contributing to its status as a major player on the world stage. However, the Saudi Arabian government recognized the importance of diversifying its economy and decided to invest in expanding its agricultural potential. By not solely relying on oil, Saudi Arabia has transformed itself into a remarkable global success story. However, the Saudi Arabian government achieved this mysterious transformation through purposeful planning and action. The government invested significantly in technology and technical equipment to convert arid terrain into productive farmland. This led to a revolution in Saudi Arabia's agricultural sector with the adoption of cutting-edge farming technologies and rural infrastructure development. Despite its enormous oil wealth, the Saudi Arabian government did not sit idle, but instead invested its riches in creating productive land for the people. Initiatives were established to promote modern agricultural technologies and rural infrastructure elements in the 1970s, resulting in a considerable expansion of crop output. Saudi Arabia achieved self-sufficiency in various commodities, including meat, milk and eggs. Fish farms on land and sea expanded, particularly benefiting the shrimp industry. Saudi Arabia became a prominent shrimp exporter to countries such as Japan and the United States. The transition of Saudi Arabia from a wheat importer to an exporter of the commodity is a testament to the nation's strategic efforts in agricultural development. This transformation unfolded through a series of well-planned initiatives that aimed to achieve food security, boost local production and diversify the economy. The construction of wheat silos in 1978 played a pivotal role in this transition, facilitating the storage and management of the growing wheat surplus. By 1984, the country had not only achieved self-sufficiency in wheat, but had also become an exporter of the commodity. This shift was not without challenges, as the increased grain production necessitated water preservation measures 
to ensure sustainable agricultural practices in the arid environment. The government played a vital role in supporting local farmers by providing interest-free loans, technical assistance and tax incentives. Initiatives such as low-cost utilities, duty-free imports and collaboration with foreign partners were facilitated by the Ministry of Agriculture and the Saudi Arabian Agricultural Bank. Modernized highways were also developed to improve connectivity and boost local economies, contributing to the nation's economic diversification. Research initiatives were a cornerstone of the agricultural development strategy. Funding was allocated to enhance food crop development, increase agricultural productivity and develop pest-resistant crops. Agricultural research centers involving collaboration between local farmers and scientists were established at various national institutions. These efforts led to significant advancements in the production of essential agricultural foods such as fruits and vegetables. As a result of these comprehensive initiatives, melons, grapes, citrus fruits, onions, squash and tomatoes became well-known and essential export commodities. The expansion of agricultural activities also increased the availability of local cuisine, with over half a million tons of dates being produced annually. Water scarcity posed a challenge to agriculture, but Saudi Arabia employed intelligent planning to address this issue. Deep tube wells were constructed in urban and agricultural areas to tap into the country's aquifers, which became a crucial water source for farming. Additionally, desalination efforts were initiated due to abundant coastlines stretching from the Gulf to Oman to the Red Sea. This made Saudi Arabia the world's largest producer of desalinated water. Interestingly, at this very moment, there are 27 desalination stations in operation producing over 3 million cubic meters of potable water daily. The Saline Water Conversion Corporation, SWCC, has played a significant role in this effort and their plant now produces over 70% of the water used in the kingdom. Salt water was rapidly transformed into potable water through desalination facilities, providing a vital water source for various uses, including households and factories. Recycled water from domestic waste became an increasingly popular source for irrigation in agricultural and urban parks. According to reports, the government aims to recycle about 40% of the water used for domestic purposes in urban areas. Saudi Arabia has transformed its limited water and desert challenges by establishing recycling plants in cities and industrial hubs using recycled water for agriculture. The government supports agriculture with land programs, research funding and technical help for the private sector offering seeds, fertilizer, low-cost water, duty-free imports and efficient machinery. These initiatives have turned the nation into one with extensive and fertile farmland. External organizations have also contributed to Saudi Arabia's agricultural success. In 2022, Saudi Arabia announced a new Smart Farm Program project in collaboration with Saudi Tamimi Marcus, Japanese-based Mitsubishi and Company, and Italian agricultural technology provider Zero SRL. This program aims to develop vertical smart farms in the El Khaj area of the kingdom to increase farmers' earnings and future enhance the agricultural sector. The presence of superstores and hypermarkets along with increased farmers' earnings, has facilitated the process of the agricultural sector by increasing citizens' purchasing power and improving access to farm produce. As a result of these groundbreaking initiatives, vast desert lands have been converted into profitable agriculture. What should we expect from Saudi Arabia in the future? In the past 30 years, Agriculture in Saudi Arabia has made remarkable progress despite the country's limited rainfall, with an average of only four inches per year. Large sections of the desert have been successfully converted into productive agricultural fields. In recent years, Saudi Arabia has exported many goods to global markets, including wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, fruits, vegetables, and flowers. While dates used to be a major part of the Saudi diet, they are now mainly grown for international humanitarian aid purposes. The government of Saudi Arabia is continuously researching and exploring ways to improve the lives of its citizens, both rich and poor. 
Saudi Arabia is actively pursuing several ambitious projects to position itself as a global leader in technology. One of the key strategies in this endeavor is Vision 2030, a comprehensive plan for economic and social reform. Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 was introduced by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to diversify the Saudi economy, reducing its dependence on oil and transforming it into a vibrant and sustainable society. The Vision 2030 plan encompasses various sectors, including the economy, tourism, culture, education and healthcare. It aims to create a thriving business environment, attract foreign investment and develop new industries and job opportunities. The plan also emphasizes the importance of empowering Saudi youth, promoting gender equality and fostering a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. The government has committed significantly to this goal, pledging to invest 2.5% of the country's GDP annually in research, development and innovation by 2040. Forward-thinking enterprises are leading digital excellence. These companies are dedicated to delivering high-quality products, innovative solutions and cutting-edge services. Their contributions are pivotal in shaping Saudi Arabia's digital landscape and establishing the country as a hub for technological advances. To achieve these goals, the Saudi government has implemented numerous initiatives and reforms, including establishing the Public Investment Fund, PIF, to support strategic projects, the introduction of tourist visas, and the development of mega-projects like NEOM and the Red Sea Project. NEOM is a futuristic city project located in the southwest of Saudi Arabia. It aims to be a global hub for innovation, technology, tourism, and sustainable living. The name NEOM combines the Greek word NEO, meaning new, with the first letter of the Arabic word Mustakbal, meaning the future, and the name of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the driving force behind the project. Neom is envisioned as a model city that embraces cutting-edge technologies and promotes a high quality of life. The project aims to attract investors, businesses and talent worldwide, focusing on renewable energy, biotechnology, robotics and tourism industries. The Red Sea Project is another major project along Saudi Arabia's western coast. It is a luxury tourism project that aims to create a world-class destination for leisure and entertainment. The Red Sea Project will feature breathtaking beaches, coral reefs and diverse marine life, offering opportunities for diving, snorkeling and other water-based activities. This project also includes the development of hotels, resorts, entertainment venues and supporting infrastructure. The agriculture market in Saudi Arabia is experiencing significant growth, with an estimated value of $19.3 billion in 2023. It is projected to reach $24.4 billion by 2028, growing at a compound annual rate of 4.8% between now and 2028. Saudi Arabia actively promotes adopting advanced agricultural technologies, including vertical and controlled environment agriculture. The kingdom has emerged as a promising market for cutting-edge farming technologies such as hydroponics, aquaponics, drones and automated farming. To support this growth, the Ministry of Economy and Planning has announced a substantial investment of $24.6 billion in the sector. Notably, the animal feed market in Saudi Arabia is also witnessing rapid expansion, with an expected growth rate of 5.93% and a market size projected to reach $3.36 billion. The Ministry of Environment, Water and Agriculture in Saudi Arabia have set an ambitious goal to increase organic production by 300%. This growth is in response to the growing consumer demand for organic foods, particularly honey and dates. In alignment with the Vision 2030 plan, which seeks to diversify the market and promote sustainable practices, Saudi Arabia has identified honey production and the cultivation of a beekeeping culture as key focus areas. Policymakers are keen on supporting beekeepers to provide high-quality honey products for the local market, aligning with the broader goals of economic diversification and sustainability. Saudi Arabia is focusing on honey production to diversify farming and be eco-friendly. Beekeeping not only makes honey, but also helps pollinate, supporting nature and ecosystems. 
They've made progress in farming by using new methods like building wheat silos, saving water and helping local farmers. Now, Saudi Arabia is not just buying wheat, but selling it, showing these changes work for food security and economic variety. In summary, Saudi Arabia turned its deserts into farms, showing smart thinking. They also care about global health, making a positive impact at home and worldwide. These efforts make Saudi Arabia strong and sustainable, helping with global challenges. What is the greatest notable invention the nation has accomplished, in your opinion? Please feel free to comment below. I appreciate you seeing. For more stuff, don't forget to like, share and comment.